Yo, yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a word search puzzle book, okay? Um, real easy, real simple. You can do this, I can do this, you can do this, all right? I have uh, two ways to do this and they're all free, okay? So nothing paid for, just get you guys started, get you guys understanding what you need to do to create a uh, word search puzzle book on Amazon KDP. First things first, we are going to do research, right? We wanna understand um, when you're going, when you're diving into a niche, you wanna research and make sure there is a demand for this niche before you create a word search book for the niche because you don't wanna design something and it doesn't sell, right? You don't wanna make, it doesn't make sales uh, on Amazon. So um, you wanna learn your niche, you wanna be the best in your niche, right? So. The reason why you're creating something for this niche is because you want to be the best. You do not go into a new niche um, trying to not be the best, right? So it doesn't make no sense. You're trying to be the best. You're trying to dominate. It. You're trying to make the most sales. And the most important thing is when you go into a new niche, like I said, is understanding it. If you understand it, you're gonna. it's going to be easier for you to create in that niche, all right? So now that you guys got down the um the whole process and understanding the research and finding the demand um if there's a demand for your book that you'll be creating your word search book we will be diving into creating uh the interior next and this is very easy guys very very simple we'll create the template all that stuff and kind of give you guys a basic understanding of what you need to do and i'll show show you guys some free to tools to help you create um, the actual word searches themselves so you're not doing it manually like one by one there's a little there's a few softwares that I'm gonna share share with you guys that are free so very very cool Let's check it out all right guys yo what's going on so um, first things first is uh, research right when it comes to um, creating uh, in any book on Amazon KDP whatever you want to call it um, research is one of the most important things okay um, so for this example we're gonna do word search right and you can tell right here that the search bar is already telling us a story, right? And uh, if you guys are unaware what this is, this is uh, AMZ ex Suggestion Expander, and that is free. Okay, you can download that in the Chrome store, so that's free. Um, but when you type in word search, you get an idea of the niches that are seem to be out there already, doing well. Um, and it's this is very interesting because this is telling you a story, and it's like it's you as an individual you have to figure it out and understand it now one of the most important things is like you want to kind of just dive in like what i'd like to do is dive in by looking for long tail keywords that have very little competition now you may take a little bit of time for doing uh you may take a little bit of time to do research on that and for the sake of this video i'm just gonna kind of your goal is to find uh, like i said long tail keywords with little competition so you can see what's going on in that niche right um, inside that uh, when that the search when that when the front page tells you a story you want to find those uh, hidden gems because those long tail keywords are the money makers right it's very important that you understand that so for this example is we'll do word search books for kids six to eight and I want to see what's popping up and your I you, you want to see you want to get you want to find something with a like a like a low search result because that's going to help you when you're first starting out, right, to get more sales, okay, quick, quick, quickly, right? And that's your goal, right? When you're first starting out, you you want to get sales, you want to kind of get that foundation, you want to make four to six to seven to eight sales a day consistently, right? And then you can start going in for these bigger niches, right, and seeing what you can do. Because as you start building up your, your reviews and stuff on your brand, you can drive more traffic and all that stuff. So... Uh, your goal is to, like I said, to find keywords um, in here that are um, that have very little competition, and then you're you're researching. As you're researching, you want to see what's going on. Like you can see kids word search puzzle book, right? Um, as you can see right here, uh, this is a BSR, right? And you want to see if there's a demand in these niches, right? You can see that there's a demand uh, for this. So, as your goal is, like I said, your goal is as um, you're doing research and trying to figure out if there's a demand for actually like the word search uh, puzzle book. Like say, for example, you want to see your first time in here, word search puzzle book. You're trying to create one, right? You want to see in what niche you can dive into to create something that will sell, right? Uh, for the customer, right? You want to create something for the customer that they want, 
um, and it makes it easier for you to make your first sale. Does that make sense? Because you're creating something, and when you create it, it's something that they want. So it makes it easy for everyone and for the Amazon algorithm to put you on the front page and help you rank. So it's important that you do your research and figure out what niche that you're going to dominate when it comes to making word search puzzle books. Okay. So very, very, very important. Okay. Um, I have, I, I've done a lot of videos on research, but we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit later on. I'll, I'll do like a more in-depth research video, but this right here, just literally, that's all you're going to do. You're going to come in here and figure out, okay, where is there a demand? And how can I be the best in that niche? So you want to ask yourself that. Okay. And now it might take a little bit of work for you to understand that or, or, uh, for you to make the best book in that niche. But once you get it all done, it's going to be all worth it. Like you can see word detective, right? You can see like little games and stuff like that. Dogs, right? You can see it's a act. That's more of an activity book, word searches. Um, but like word for word, you can see this is like a big, it seems like a big activity book right here. So you kind of get the idea when you're coming in here, word search for fun, word search for, uh, word search fun for kids ages six to eight. Okay. So yeah, you get the idea behind it. You're, this is telling you a story, this front page. Okay. Um, this is important. This is really, really important because you don't want to create nothing that no one wants. So you have to understand that, right? Very, very, very important. Now, let me, um, let me go into the, I want to show you guys some free resources that you guys can use, right? So I want to show you guys free resources that you guys can use when it comes to creating an interior. So this is important too as well. So like, for example, let's dive into, let's dive into, let's dive into this, this, okay, this word search book. Okay. And, uh, this right here too is like I told you that this is, this is going to tell you a story. When you click on here, say you found your niche, you found everything. Uh, you, you know what niche you're going to dive into. It can be the word search books for, uh, like in the dog, a dog niche, right? People love dogs and they, you know what I mean? Or just, just fun like this one, for example, as we dive into here, we're going to see what they're creating. Like you can see the inside, right? And it's literally that simple. Okay. Happy birthday. Look at word list, family surprise, music, games, balloons, singing, cake, candles, ice cream, present. So you can see what they're doing right here. So you want to get an understanding an idea of the interiors. Look at the top selling books in the niche and put your own flip on it. Do not copy. Be the like. And then if you're diving into here, like you obviously have an idea of what you want to create when you're creating uh, a, a, the book. Right. So you kind of have a better idea um, and you go down and you can look at the the reviews too, right? The ratings and the reviews. If you scroll down to the bottom, this right here, this is a little tool that I use, but you can see the demand of it. The BSR, the, the, the sales rank on this is crushing it, right? <laughs> like, look at it. So, and you can see when it was published too as well. This kind of gives you an idea. Okay, cool. This, so August, not even a year up and it's just crushing it, right? And then if you scroll down, scroll down, right? Scroll down, scroll, scroll, scroll. You're going to go right here. You're going to come over here, paperback. How many pages does this book have, right? So you want to get an idea of your niche, right? Let's say you got the two top selling books in your niche. You want to see, or let's say that they get the top five, top three, and they all have over a hundred pages, right? So you have an idea. Okay, cool. So I have to create a book, uh, a crossword book that has over a hundred pages. Okay. So that's, you got that part down. So it has to be over a hundred pages. And then what about the sizing? Okay, you can see this is a 7.9 uh, by 9.9. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit more. Let's, let's, let's look at another one. This one, okay, this one looks like a word search for kids. This is a pretty cool cover. Okay, wow, crushing it, okay. Okay, here we go, 8.5 by 11 inches, 95 pages. All right, now, as you go down here too, customers who also bought this item also bought this. Also bought, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, you get the point. So also bought, so as you look in here, there's more in here. There's more, there's more niches. You can see that you can get into Christmas, right? Now you're getting into holidays, right? There's so much you can do with this, guys. It's like, this is crazy. All right, so we have that. I also, to look at frequently bought together, as you guys can see. It's huge right there, right? Okay, now we have this right here. We have this down. We see that there's a demand. Um, let's say, for example, that we compared the top five, top three books in the niche that you're going to be diving into. 200, okay, 260K. Um, you see this, okay, the, the sizing, right? Let's say all three of the books, 
that you're uh, in your niche are 8.5 by 11 inches and they're all consistent sellers. Okay. Obviously that's telling you something right there. So we'll be creating an 8.5 by 11 inches, right? Okay. So very simple, very easy. Um, and that right there, it gives you a better idea of the books that you're going to be recreating for your niche. So you kind of, you're zooming in, you're going down, you're diving in, you have an idea, you have a, what size, now you have the sizing, now you have the pages. Okay. Now it's going to be time. You got to get to work now. Okay. There is nothing around that. You need to get to work. Um, it, that right there, just understanding your niche, diving in, being the best and just create. Okay. Create. Okay. Uh, the more books you create, okay, I'm not saying to spam the platform. I'm saying to understand your niche, create something that's really good. It will make it easier for you to make sales, uh, make it easier for the customer to purchase. Um, and, of course, there's a there's a process behind all this, like the cover, the interior, all that plays a factor in this, right? Um, but as you get to know your niche, you'll start to understand what covers are selling and it's really that simple guys if you're looking at it you can see this one's selling right okay this one's selling okay of course look out for trademarks and all that stuff because pokemon activity book okay of course you gotta want to you want to check for all the trademarks and all that crazy stuff you don't want to get your kdp account banned you can see this one's selling right so like you can look at the covers covers the covers are very simple and all that stuff very easy very easy you can do that i'll actually put up a um a link up here so you guys can understand how to make covers. I made a video on that. That's a whole nother video. Okay. Because, because you have to do the, uh, each cover is different depending on how many pages you have inside your book. So you want to understand that very important that you guys understand that. All right. Now let's get into making, uh, making the interiors here. I'm going to show you guys some free resources that you guys can use and show you how easy it is to make an interior. All right, guys, so um, I'll put these down below in the description, too, as well. Here's some free uh, tools. You also, you guys want to make sure when you say if you guys are using a different website, you just want to make sure that these are free for commercial use. OK, well, just want to make sure that you can use them for commercial use, basically, because you do not want to get in trouble for any of this stuff. Uh, you don't want to create something and then you get it taken down because you didn't look up and see if you can use it for commercial use. OK, so very, very important that you guys understand that when creating uh, these interiors and using these type of softwares to help you um, with a, uh, making a word search. OK. Um, so first one is, uh, if you have a PC, okay. So word search, um, I'm not sure if this is available for available for Mac. If you have a PC, you can download this free little app on there. And now for example, let's use, just use these ones that they have in here already. Okay. This will be the words that you would create for your interior. Okay. So, uh, as you, as you're doing this, you're going to generate lists, uh, lists like different lists of funny, like, words for your niche right um as you can see as we did the research this is part of the research process you want to get words together you can open up a notepad and start just getting all the 300 400 words right uh for that niche and put them all together and just kind of get creative with it and this is this is the whole process of like understanding of what it takes to be the best in your niche right so this is very important um now you can mess with a lot of this stuff right here right uh, the width, you can see 20, 20, we'll just leave that right there. And for the example for this video, keep it real simple and easy. So we're going to press regenerate puzzle. Boom. Okay. Oh, 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 the puzzle has some possibility of offensive words. Okay. Let's see that. Okay. Regenerate again. So yeah, yeah we don't want no uh, crazy words in there. Uh, but hint, hint, there's another niche right there, right? <laughs> so uh, there's a little, you get, it's something to think about as you're doing research if you think of other ideas when you're doing research and that was one right there that I, that you can maybe dive into. Right. Um, you have to, of course you have to make sure it's okay on Amazon or KDP that you can put uh, bad words inside your book. Right. So as we did that, okay, really simple, real easy. Um, that's also cool. You can show the answers, right? Let's say if you're going to put the answers in the back of your book. Okay. So that's something to think about too. Okay. So like I say, if you want to put the answers in the back of uh, the book, also put, make sure there's no cheating because you know, some people <laughs> will look at the answers and look at the very back just to uh, see where the, see where the words are. So yeah, so very simple. So save as image. Okay. Boom. Put a uh, word search youtube example okay boom saved it in the png i believe all right so we're going to come over here to power we're over here in powerpoint 
uh, blank presentation and then come over here to design and come over here to slide size and then custom slide size and then we're gonna come over here and then we're gonna fill this out. So this is going to be the, the, the interior that we research 8.5 okay, by 11, okay, boom. And then press okay and then ensure fit, boom, okay. And then also to very simple guys, this is very simple. So you can literally copy, so this is page one so let's say on uh, PC, control C, and then you just press control V, and then it copies in page two. Okay, this is very simple. And then that, and then you can highlight every single one of these. So we have three pages and then control C, and then can, so basically right click, copy, right? And then uh, paste, and then you'll create six, you'll create, it'll double with the ones that we have, one, two, three, and then you can highlight all six, and then the same thing, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So, yeah, now basically what we're going to do is get all this stuff out of here because we don't need it. Okay. And then we're going to insert. Come over here to boom, insert. And then we're going to add a picture. Uh, insert. This, oh, my God. This device. Come over here to documents. And then whatever we search, saved it for, as, right? And then boom, okay, it's going to, look at that, look how cool that is. Now, as you do more research, okay, as you do more research for your interior, okay, you, you don't, you want to get more, you want to be more creative, right? You don't want it to be ah, all plain and stuff like that. And you can see the next page, the next page is going to be blank. Um, but we're just doing one page and kind of get the example. So then you'll be creating for page. Uh, the next page, page if you want to leave the bl the back of the page blank, you skip page two and go to page three, okay? Um, but for this example, like, we come back over here. Um, uh, so, like, you can see that the words that we're using, if you want to put, like, a, like a, a title, right? Because you can put a title in here. So, uh, let's say, like, you want to add, a, like, a, like, a text box or something like that. You can add a title in here. And then like the words that you want to add, like this, so the word that you put in here, let's say, um, so you grab copy and then you're going to come in here and you want to add these words to the very bottom right here. This is what we're going to do. Okay. And then we're going to take the other words, right, that were in here. So we have rock after progressive. Right there, boom, copy. Okay. All right, you see how it's coming along? It's coming together. Okay. Right there, boom. And it's it's coming more together, at like a, kind of like a word search. And of course, you would add like a title. I would add a title right here. Uh, make it really unique. Um, and then also you can insert images too as well. Like I said, if you want to put like a, like a little side image here, you want to put this smaller, right? And you don't like it. You don't want it that big. Okay. You can see it, how it's coming together and you can put like some cool little images, like line drawings or a little picture or whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, the, the most important thing is here, you want to get the idea behind this. Okay. So, um, very, very simple, very easy. You guys can see how I did this. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this, right? Uh, so I just want to show you this for example because you can apply this to any software that you're using to create your interiors, okay? Um, and it's, it's literally that easy, that simple. Um, there is another one too as well I wanted to share with you, Word Search Maker. You guys can see the Word Search Maker is pretty much self-explanatory, same exact way. Let's say, okay, let's say, okay, let's, for this example, let's say you're going to do 20 rows, 20 rows and then we're going to use um we can just use the ones that we already have right and then word uh directions we'll do all these all which ways whatever ways we want okay um and then after that boom generate word search boom boom so download puzzle image all right popped up right here okay then we're going to go back over here to powerpoint we're going to go over here to the second page this time. And then we're going to come over here to insert uh, image. I think it should be in downloads right here. Boom. Right. And then it's pretty much the same exact thing, right? Um, this one has the little boxes right there. Boom. Boom. Okay. So now you can see that the grid's gone. As you can see, if you guys want the grid, 
you can basically just the grid color right here you can change that if you want the text color you can change it that's pretty cool too as well uh, makes it easier for you to create it and then um, as you guys can see exactly what I did right there and then this is the same exact thing right um, this is just an, for example okay um, if you're creating um, uh, like a, you don't want something on the back because this is going to be page one this is going to be page two on the back and, and then you just go all the way down okay let's say if you're, so if you're creating 100 pages um, and you're going to only put a certain amount of words on each page okay so you're going to put 10 or 20 words on each page um, of course you have to start getting to work and getting everything done but as simple as this so let's say this is all done and you're ready to upload okay you created your interior everything's all done um, yeah I think the limit with KDP you have to have 24 pages at 23 pages maybe 27 pages something around there um, and then you're just gonna come over here and save as okay or just save or save as save as go to downloads and then you're gonna come in here and type in your name type in the name so the example YouTube okay and then you're gonna come down to the PDF file which is right there you're gonna save it okay boom save okay it's right here PDF we'll go ahead and open that bad boy up and as we open it look okay. it okay pretty cool yeah so uh, this is how you would create an, uh, a word search interior yeah <laughs> that's it uh, if you guys have any questions please comment down below and check out my other videos right here